the greatest weapon you have on earth is your mouth, it's your tongue. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Now please understand the ministry of the mouth, the ministry of the mouth, the purpose of your tongue. Do not in any way, please, I uh, oblige you, I encourage you to please be a diligent governor of the things that proceed from your mouth. Filter the words of your mouth. I, I, I don't, I, let me not say I don't care. I do care, okay, but allow me to use the word. I don't care what circumstance that is before you. I don't really care what situation that you're facing. I don't care who's against you or who loves you or who doesn't like you or what tough, rough situation that you're facing. I am very consigned and I care a lot about the words that come out of your mouth concerning that situation. We are not in control of circumstances that happen around us. You may not be in control of your doctor's report. You may not be in control of the feelings in your mind, the feelings in your thoughts, or the kind of things that go on in your mind, or the pictures that creep into your you know, images, or I mean the pictures that creep into your imaginations. But I can assure you, you are responsible and you are in charge of the words that proceed from your mouth. You may not be in charge of the thoughts that creep into your mind. You may not be in charge of the energies, the feelings that run through your emotions. But you will be held responsible for the words of your mouth. Somebody hear me tonight? You will be held what? Responsible for the words that proceed from your mouth. Now this is found in the book of Matthew chapter 12, verse number 37. Matthew chapter 12, verse number 37. For by thy words, for by your words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. He didn't say by the imaginations of your mind thou shalt be justified or condemned. He didn't say by the feelings of your thoughts or by the you know, thoughts that flash into your minds. It is when you endorse, when you affirm whatever that goes on around you, whether things are going on within or without, your words are what will either endorse them or affirm whatever that you're going through. So it is very vital that we become disciplined and careful calculators of the words that proceed from our mouths. And everybody must give account of the words that you say. Because words, like I said in the past, words delegate spirits. Words empower abilities. In fact, there are uh, forces 
There are spirit entities that feed on the words of our mouth. So we can shape, we can destroy, we can build with words. Do not think that every casual, every careless word that you've ever said just vanished in the air. They did not vanish in the air. In fact, you need to go home and take time to look, remind yourself, write down those casual words, casual statements that you made in the time past and revisit them and re-counter each of those words. Are you hearing me? You ought to counter each of those words. Think about this, that your born again experience was a function of your confession. You cannot, no one gets born, gets born again without accepting Jesus with his mouth. That's how powerful your mouth is. In other words, with my mouth, I can assess all the blessings of God. With my mouth, I can change my destiny. Hallelujah, sons of God. With, with my mouth, I can deplete the agendas of the devil that Satan has loaded against me. I have access into my future, yes, yet I am in my present. I have access into my past, yet I am in my present. Why? Because the, 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 the tongue gives me access into my future. I, I, I want you to understand that it is impossible to register or capture some, certain realities in the spirit without first releasing those in your words, in your mouth, through your mouth. And everything that you say with your mouth goes right into your spirit, into your soul, into your mind. And of course you know that your mind is the powerhouse that alters your destiny. Access into your future, access into your destiny is your mouth. I am born again, you are born again because of your confession that Jesus Christ is Lord and that releases eternal life into your spirit. If, if, if I'm to say this, I would say that the greatest weapon you have on earth is your mouth it's your tongue oh come on sons of God that my question to you tonight is how useful is your tongue H how diligent do you use your mouth I remember many years ago when I was very young I, I discovered the mysteries of the tongue. I understood that before I can, I can walk in the realities of the blessings of God, I would have to say it. Trying to do it when you have not said it is walking in a place of mirage. It's more or less like a mirage. You know, I'm trying to say, you, you are acting it, but there is no substance to validate and hold it onto manifestation. Of course, it is also religious and foolishness to say it without a corresponding action. But these two principles work together. We have to first say it 
before we can do it. Now God said to Joshua, this book of the law should not depart out of thy mouth. And thou shalt meditate therein and observe to do all that is written thereof. Then shall you walk in success, then will you cause success to manifest. You will make thy ways prosperous.